Aries, welcome to your reading for January. Let's start digging in. Happy New Year. I hope you're all doing amazing. I hope you had a fantastic celebration. I hope this is the best year ever for you. Let's start digging into your energy. I'm going to start out with the life purpose messages. We're going to go ahead and pull three. You're meant to hear all three, but the first one you choose is going to be your strongest life, pur life purpose message you are meant to hear. If you haven't hit that like button yet, when you get a chance, I would truly appreciate it. It helps other Aries to hear these messages. We definitely need to help guide each other and help each other. And, you know, we all need it. <laughs> we all need it, don't we? Thank you for doing that. And I hope you become a subscriber. And hitting the notification bell will get you notified of future reading. This is for anybody with an Aries placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Feel free to check out the playlist for your other placements. If you don't know what they are, you can go to astrosofa.com and calculate it there. It's absolutely free to do so. All right, they're coming out for you. Let's see what's going on. This may play out from your perspective or the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future. Remember, it is a general reading again, so don't force anything to fit. But things happen in divine timing. Like I always say, things could happen one month, three months, six months, a year. Uh, it just depends on your journey and what you're going through. Okay, it's not gender specific. If I say he, it might be she. Feel free to flip the energies. If it's not you, it could be the person coming towards you or affecting your energy or their energy. Whoever is surrounding your energy can and will affect the reading. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on. Okay. So we have one, two, and three. So pick them in the order that you wish to. And that's the order you're meant to hear them and order of importance for you. Okay. Let's go ahead. First message. Books. You connect to your life purpose through involvement with books. So some of you may be really into reading or maybe you're a librarian or you like to go to the library. Maybe you like to research on the internet. Um, some of you may be uh, going back to school or college or university, learning something here. Uh, perhaps just, you know, you really like diving into novels, um, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. Some of you are just really into that, and that's awesome. Knowledge is power. I've got the power. <laughs> Some of you are into art big time. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. So some of you may be like really artistic. Maybe you like to sell art, uh, go to art shows. Maybe Spirit is saying that would be something that would be very beneficial for you if you're into that. Um, maybe you like going to... Um, to buy like different pieces of art from your favorite artists as well, I'm getting. Maybe you like to do that. For some reason, for some of you, this is gonna be very beneficial for you in your in your career path, okay? So maybe some of you have always wanted to become an artist, never have, maybe spirits like letting you know that you should maybe think about engaging in that, something that would make you very happy, okay? Next message, wow, writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. So some of you might like to write poetry or novels or that's something Spirit was saying you would be good at, okay? You'd be good at teaching others and entertaining with the words you write. So perhaps writing stories, maybe even children's book, maybe that's something you'd be good at. There's definitely a thing here about writing in books and art. So maybe you're going to, you know, maybe Spirit's saying it would be good for you to think about being, being come, becoming, if I could talk, some of you are maybe very confused about what you want to do right now as I'm getting as well. Maybe some of you want to start thinking about writing a book and um, maybe books for children and maybe you're going to do the artwork on that. Perhaps that's something that will help you heal and inspire children. Maybe some of you would be good at, uh, I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting good with writing children's novels for some of you or you know even for adults whoever it is it's like it will help bring them healing wow very nice all right i'm gonna use a double decker vintage deck this is from the 1960s and the 1970s so they're awesome they're 63 and 53 years old now wow it's amazing Let's see what's going on for aries sun moon rising and venus archangel michael gabriel Joseph, Raphael, shamuel what are the newest messages or Aries, what do they need to know for the month of January? Some of you, yeah, you have a lot of different decisions you could make if you want to. A lot of different choices, Spirit, saying that you're kind of waiting to see what's going on. You're thinking about things, but Spirit wants you to know you have a lot of different opportunities coming in for you presently or in the future. And to think really about what it is you want to do, okay? Uh, I feel like it's something involving your career, mm-hmm, okay? 
All right, let's see what's going on for Aries. What are the newest messages for January 2023? I keep wanting to go say 2022. I'm sure most of you can relate to that. Oh my. Okay, yeah. Woo, spirit singing of a lot of different opportunities. Wow, some of you are some of you are dealing with a water sign, Scorpio mainly, but it could be a Pisces or Cancer. There you are, Aries. I feel like look at that. Three of Cups and the Six of Wands. I feel like a water sign or somebody with a lot of water in their chart wants to celebrate with you, have a good time with you. It's like they want to make an announcement or they want attention from you. I'm taking this leap. I'm taking this opportunity, you know, and I want to celebrate it. So you could be getting a new job or picking a new career path or the person you're dealing with is and they want to celebrate it, or this could be that they want to come in and spend time with you, and they want to tell you something. Interesting. Let's go ahead and clear the fool energy for Aries. Why is it here? Wow. They're thinking sweetly about you. You are their soulmate. They feel like you are tied at a soul-to-soul -soul level here. They're thinking very sweetly about you. They may surprise you. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. Why is it here? Okay, these are all wanting to jump out for you, so I have to take them. Hmm. Nine of Wands, King of Wands, Justice, King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Spirit's telling you, I feel like you might be a little bit guarded, you know? It's like you, you want things to be fair and balanced, Someone has more than one opportunity here, I'm feeling. We've got water energy, fire energy, and air energy. Spirit's telling you, you know, you might have a decision to make here. You might block a blessing that's coming in because you're, you're not really going to be sure how to take it. I feel like you just kind of want the truth here. You may have been kind of like protecting your heart a little bit here. I feel like spirit saying this is somebody that wants to put the effort in with you here, but you know, take your time. Don't rush things. It takes time to pour one cup into the other here. Um, because it's going to be like, there's a celebration. I want to have a good time with you. I want to tell you something, but you're going to be a little standoffish. I feel because you're, you're kind of wondering, like weighing things out. I feel like this is somebody who's going to be patient with you. They're doing a lot of thinking. I feel like they want to build a relationship with you is what I'm getting here. And Spirit's saying, take your time. You don't have to rush. This is somebody that wants to, to make things right with you and balance things out and put effort into a connection with you. Wow. Let's go ahead and get their energy. I feel like this is a combination of both of yours. What's going on with Aries, person of energy now or coming toward them in the future? What is going on with Aries, person of interest now or coming toward Aries in the future? Okay. Wow, loaded information here, Aries. Let me know in the comment section if this is resonating for you. All right, so here is the lowdown. This is somebody who's very, very slow. Um, They've put an end to something in their life. They had a lot of responsibilities and I feel like they want to let you know that they're letting it go. Um, that they're going through justice or legal is issues or they're taking the action or either that or, you know, they, they want to let you know that it has resolved itself, that justice has been served, things are balanced out in their life. They've been going through a period of healing. They've just been working. And they want to come and tell you about it and kind of celebrate the fact that, you know, they've gotten through this, this tough point in their life here. And they want, to, they want to celebrate with you over it. It's kind of like, let's go celebrate. Let's go have a good time. Okay, let's get the mutual energies between Aries and the person of interest. Now we're coming toward them in the future for January 2023. This is very good, you know, because this is somebody who... Uh, really is very balanced between their head and their heart they do a lot of thinking here and then they take the action so they're you know they're not impulsive which is fantastic they're very patient they're balancing themselves out they're balancing out their life and it's like okay now i'm done everything's done 
I want to go to Aries and, and I want to go have a good time with you and celebrate. Okay, so this is somebody that is thinks very, very, very sweetly of you. They feel like you are their soulmate. Okay. What is going on mutually? How are they marrying one another? Aries and the person of interest with their hopes, dreams, wishes, fears. Wow. So there you go. I feel like you both want to spend time with one another is what I'm seeing here. So they may have strong water, fire, and air in their chart. Somebody you already know. Okay, they were stuck and feeling trapped, and so are you. I feel like they're coming to give you some, some great news here. They're coming to tell you something. Now remember, this hasn't happened yet. For some of you, it may be. For some of you, it could happen in the future. Okay, they, they may actually open up to you about this new creative adventure here. And... They're wanting you to work with them for some of you here. It could be, you know, I've got this new career path that I'm starting up after I finish something in my life and, and I want to share it with you here. So they may want to create something new with you for that's how they're going to come into you, but they're actually seeing you as their soulmate. Okay. They're a little worried about it. Okay. I feel like you've both kind of been a little bit nervous or anxious Maybe kind of worrying about how things are going to turn out. Like I said, we've got the Nine of Wands. You may be kind of like apprehensive. You're not really sure. Well, are they just coming to me for this new creative idea that they have? They want to work with me? Or, you know, are they feeling what I feel? And Spirit saying, take your time. There's no rush. Don't rush. Because you're both a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious. But at the same time, you both have romantic feelings towards each other. You both want to spend time with each other. And things were stuck before. And this is kind of like spirit saying things are no longer stuck. Okay. You're going to, you're going to receive some kind. They may surprise you for some of you. The fool energy can represent that somebody's just going to show up and, and say, Hey, I'm here. By the way, I got this to tell you, right? <laughs> Ooh, some of you, they're definitely bringing this relationship to the next level or that's their intention. We have engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So they may come to you with this like idea and it turns romantic. It actually turns into a commitment and a partnership here. So they may come off to you all business-like with this idea, but their intention is to have a future engagement with you for some of you, okay? Because like I said, you know, they've been, they've been kind of slow, but this is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you very, very, they think you're very, very sweet. You may make them feel like a child again, this person. You know, you make them feel all warm and fuzzy. This is what I'm getting. Very nice energy. Passion. So you have lots of passion for each other. Perhaps you get each other kind of motivated uh, creatively, and this is how it's going to start. Oop. Vanity. Perhaps this is somebody who was quite vain before. Maybe all they cared about was money, how they looked, their trinkets, what they owned. Um, but now they're more about passion, art, perhaps writing or wanting to create something with you here. Uh, again, like I said, you make them feel like they can do anything. They feel like um, you turn them into like a child again or just make them feel like, you know, butterflies maybe dissipating. They might be worried that, you know, you're disappearing on them. You're guarded, or maybe you're not talking to them so much, or you just seem a little different, standoffish perhaps, and they're a little bit worried and concerned about that. Yeah. Okay, so they're trying to temper their emotions, or you are, okay? And Spirit says, that's okay. Like I said, take your time here. But I do feel like, you know, you or they are starting to get impatient here, okay? So <laughs> they're on a quest, okay? They're on a quest here, perhaps for adventure. Because this is somebody who's like, I'm willing to do, you know, whatever. I, I'm going to seize the opportunity. I'm willing to take a risk here. Let's go for it. And that is your energy. So it definitely could be you taking on this energy. Let's get a love, guidance, and advice message. What is going on for Aries? What is the love, guidance, and advice message for um, January 2023. It still blows my mind that it's January. Already. That just flew by, didn't it? Let's see what's going on. What's love, guidance, and advice? Some of you may be getting engaged this year. Okay, so if somebody offers you something, like in terms of career, or has an idea, don't, don't like just throw it aside. Like if this is somebody you like, somebody you already know, like take the time. Spirit's saying, take your time. 
because it could lead to so much more. <laughs> yeah, let's see. What are the advice and guidance messages? Patience. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got that twice. Somebody's impatient and spirit is saying, nope, you got to be patient. We've also got the temperance. Take time to temper your emotions. Don't make assumptions, okay? There are things that have yet to unfold in this situation. Trust and wait and have patience. Everything's unfolding exactly as it's meant to. There's a reason a connection or opportunity may not be happening yet. Trust in divine timing. And that's exactly what temperance is. Trust in divine timing. Everything's going the way that it should. Okay. Um, it's kind of like spirit is saying, take a leap of faith. Try not to be too guarded. Be open to this opportunity that's coming in for you here. It could lead to engagement. Okay. And a future with this person here. This is somebody that's willing to put the work in. Somebody that works very hard, isn't afraid of hard work, okay? And this could be, you know, vice versa. So again, feel free to flip those energies. Don't forget to hit the like button again, please, thank you. And the notification bell and subscribing is free. And check out the playlist. I'd love to see over on the community page. Check that out if you wish to do so. Much love, much light, and a very happy new year. I hope all your dreams and wishes come true. Thanks, Aries. I will see you all again next time. And cross watchers, of course, we couldn't do this without you if you're checking up on an Aries or another, your other placements. Bye for now.